This is a scene that would give even the boldest of superstars stage fright. A crazed fan attacking from the crowd. And this time, the target is one of daytime's hottest hunks, Michael Damien. It seems only fitting that Damien's soap is called Young and the Restless. He plays Danny Romilotti. When Michael slips away from his role in the soap, he's a real-life rock and roller. What's your name? That's what Michael was doing when this guy jumped in the app. The unwanted extra is 23-year-old Martina. Cops say he attacked Damien while Michael was belting out his newest hit in Boise, Idaho. All of a sudden, from the right stage, we see uh, this guy blundering onto the, onto the stage. And uh, my initial thought was, this guy, here he is. He's going to dance with this guy that's getting off the stage. And the next thing we see is this guy just lunges onto Michael Damien. Deputy Corby Christensen sprayed Pena with pepper mace. Christensen claims the 23-year-old confessed to slamming down 12 beers before he slammed down Damien. He was pretty incoherent. He did a little bit of hollering. Uh, he didn't like the song. Uh, he didn't like Michael Damien. Uh, I think he was kind of mad at the world. And this was like a, a, a unique way for him to gain some attention. Pena says he was trying to gain the attention of his girlfriend, Treva Taylor, and that he was jealous about the way she feels about the sexy soap star. I didn't know what to think. You know, I was scared. Uh, I was wondering if he was going to attack any of me, me or my friends. The story that I've heard is that he was jealous because he thought you had a crush on Michael Damien, and that's why he attacked Michael Damien. I don't have a crush on him. I don't even know Michael Damien. You know, I've heard his albums before. Um, I didn't know who he was or anything, so mm -hmm. I don't understand why he did it for me. I was mad, though. Treva says days before the attack, Mark, who she claims is not her boyfriend, seemed to have a sick obsession with Damien. And he started talking about Michael Damien all the time, and he did this weird dance with one of those paint masks over his face and a stick, and was saying, Michael Damien, Michael Damien, and he just always asked all the time, is Michael Damien going to show up? Treva was horrified as she sat and watched the attack with her best friend, Brandy Greason. Brandy talked to Pena in jail after he was arrested. He told me that he was feeling really well. He was feeling better than he had in a long time. And after the attack? Yep. Yeah. Michael was visibly shaken, but tried to laugh it off. Did any of my hair get out of place? What happened? He even had another fan on stage, but this one he invited. But as time passes, the reality of what happened is setting in, and his personal assistant Pam Brantley says it is casting the soap star in the unusual role of a recluse. He's been getting dizzy. His body's still a little sore. He thought he was being stabbed. Um, he, he's you know, the pain, the, the what he felt in his uh, chest and his ribs, um, he thought he'd been stabbed. The doctor who examined Michael says physically he's fine. He's recovered from all of the injuries sustained in the brutal attack. But emotionally, he's beaten. And that forced him to pull out of his role here in Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat in Chicago, where he was filling in for his good buddy Donny Osmond. And as of right now, there is no word when Michael will even make his next public appearance. Michael is so shook up, he also canceled his tour for his new single, Time of the Season. In fact, he promised a current affair an interview about the attack, but was too upset to even talk about it. He was told by this doctor that, you know, he can't go on, he's got he's to go and rest. Mm -hmm. Emotionally, is he angry, scared, what? All of the above. I think it's always going to be there now. I mean, it's something I don't think you can ever forget. Every time he gets up on stage, I think there's going to be maybe that in the back of his mind. Um, but like I said, the cautiousness and stuff, that we, we can look at that as being positive. Because there can be somebody out here, there who's, who has a gun or a knife. 
Pena is charged with battery. He faces a $500 fine and a six-month jail sentence if convicted. But for Michael, this real soap opera crisis has hit him hard. And it may be sometime next season before he recovers from this episode.